Hey guys, uh, welcome to, um, today's video. Today, we're gonna be looking through my Elton John vinyl collection. Now, I do not have all of them, but I do have, uh, quite a few of them. So, I'm going to show you all of them today. Let's get started. Starting off, we have Elton John's first album. This is Empty Sky. This album was released in 1969. Now, I was fortunate enough to get one of the originals. This is one of the originals from 1969, which, um, so meaning this album is over uh, 50 years old, which is crazy. Now, here's the back. Gives you all the track listings. And then here is the gatefold. And now this was back when like everything was like made of cardstock. Like this doesn't even feel like um cardboard. This is like cardstock. Like it's very, very thin and it, it will rip easily. Um and yes, it still has its original paper sleeve in here. It does. I'm not going to bring it out because I had a hard time putting it back in, but it does have it. Um, the record itself is placed in, an, is, in a, is placed in a nice sleeve, so it will not get damaged in any way possible. Now, this is the record itself. It's in almost perfect condition, and I plan on keeping it like that. Uh, it's not even dusty, really. It really isn't even dusty. It's uh, no scratches, nothing. Um, it's it's kind of weird seeing something that's so old, but yet so, like, untouched. You know what I mean? Uh, it's kind of weird. So I'm going to give you the track list uh, here. Um, here, we have number one, Empty Sky. Number two is Veil Hela. Uh, number three is Western Ford Gateway. Uh, and then we, uh, number four is Him 2000. Uh, you turn it around, you have, um, Lady What's Tomorrow. Uh, number two is Sales. Number three is Scaffold. Number four is Skyline Pigeon. Uh, number five is Gulliver Hay, Shoot Reprise. Um, and the rest of it just says Alton John, Dick James Limited. Uh, yeah, so that is... Empty Sky. Let's uh, go to the next one. Next up, we have Elton's first popular album. This is his second studio album. This is Elton John. Uh, this is not original. This is actually the uh, 2020 Record Store Day limited uh, to 7,000 copy release. And now uh, this is the front. And now this is the back. Uh, and then uh, this one has gatefold. Um, I had I used to have the 1980 repress of this. It did not have the gatefold. So uh, anyway, so the reason it's so limited because of course it's 180 gram vinyl, but uh, it is uh, on purple transparent vinyl which I love, and um, yes, this has the same label as uh, Empty Sky. I, I believe all the newer ones have, uh, uh, newer represses have this label, so yeah, but this is, this is nice. If you hold it up to the light, you can see it. Uh, uh, surprisingly, when you turn it on the tape, uh, uh, if you put it on the turntable, or at least mine, you can't really see it. It's really only if you put it up to the light or if, like, if the lighting's great. Um, so, the track listing we have is, um, here. we have Your Song, uh, uh, Need to, Need You to Turn, I Need You to Turn To, I'm sorry, uh, Take Me to the Pilot, No Shoestrings on Louise, First Episode at Heinton, um, 60 Years On, then we have Border Song, which is one of my favorites, The Greatest Discovery, The Cage, The King Must Die, and that's it. That, that is uh, Elton John, released in 1970. This is the 2020 repress for Record Store Day. And yeah, that, that's it. Let's go to the next one. Okay, we are now going to Elton's fourth studio album, because I do not have Tumbleweed Connection at the moment. This is Madman Across the Water. 
Um, now, I, I had a different copy of this. I had uh, the 1977 repress, and the problem with that one was is that uh, this, this one suffers the same problem. This is the 1980 repress, uh, the, the, the 1981, but I originally had the 1977 one. But for some reason, um, the old mixes have... Um, some reason the drums are not uh, very loud in the mix, and I like to have uh, drums. So, uh, but yeah, this is Madman Across the Water. And another difference I found within uh, this one that the 1977 repress had a gatefold. This is the 1980. This one does not have a gatefold. So this would this would open up. Uh, sadly, it doesn't. But anyway, this is the front. This is the back. Um, I really like the design of this cover because I love it. It's like a like a like a jean material. It doesn't feel like it, but it's nice. Uh, it still has paper in insert. Um, let me get the record out here and show you. Uh, now this is a uh, different label. Now, like I said, uh, th this is a MCA. This is an MCA, so this is an American copy. Um, so now, if you were to get the original MCA from uh, the 70s it would be the same label as this but it would be like black it would be like a, a dark sky so it'd be like nighttime uh the later releases tend to have this like daytime kind of look so yeah that's the record and like i said uh perfect condition that's how i keep all of them and has the same one there and back uh and also the difference between this one and the 1977 one is that I'll put a picture of the logo on here. It's like an orangish yellow. I really like it. I prefer it. I prefer that logo over this one. Uh, but, you know. Yeah. And so the track for Mad Man Across the Water is Tiny Dancer, uh, Leave On. Uh, right? What the? What? I, I, I threw it off here. Uh, Tiny Dancer, Levon, Razor Face, Madman Across the Water, um, Indian Sunset, Holiday Inn, Rotten Peaches, All the Nasties, and Goodbye. Is this warped? This looks warped. Uh, sorry, I, I freak out, sorry. Yeah, that is Madman Across the Water. Now... We're going to get into our next album. All right, now we're getting into Elton's fifth studio album. This is Honky Chateau. And this is actually an original. Uh, and this is also a British copy. And the thing that's cool about these originals here is that uh, they don't, they're do not they not like a normal uh, kind of like open style flip book. Here, let me, I'll show you in a second. But this is the cover and this is the back. And as you'll notice, there's a flap here which I really like because then it opens up into like a gatefold, which I love. Um, and I thought that was really cool. And also I was really lucky and I got, I was able to get a uni. Now these uni ones are uh, one of the most rarest ones that you can find. Um, actually, no, the yeah no yeah yeah these are these are like the rarest ones to find uh I, I actually got this really cheap too uh like i said um there's no scratches on it i mean it is a bit dusty but there are no scratches on it uh at all whatsoever yeah and that is honky chateau uh this was released in 1972 uh so was a uh, madman across the water i don't i don't know if i mentioned that but the uh, track listing is Honky Cat, uh, one of my favorite songs. Mellow, I Think I'm Gonna Kill Myself, also a good song. Uh, Susie, uh, Rocket Man, uh, Side B is Salvation, Slave, Amy, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's, and Hercules. And that is uh, Honky Chateau. Now we're gonna get into Elton's sixth studio album. Okay, so now we're going to go uh, to Alton's sixth studio album, which is Don't Shoot Me, I Am The Only Piano Player. And yes, this is another original. Uh, this is from 1973. Uh, 
there's the front there's the back uh this is an american copy this is mca um is there a gatefold yes there is a gatefold this is the gatefold um as you see it's a very nice gatefold i think some gatefolds if i'm not if i'm not mistaken some of the gatefolds have like a booklet in them i've seen a few of them like that i don't know uh i don't i, I don't seem to have that copy um and I don't think uh, the pages were, like, ripped out or anything because there's no indication that this was a book. So, yeah. So, this is, I, I'm guessing this is one of the normal copies. And I like this uh, a picture of uh, young Elton here uh, by the piano. Very nice. Um, now, onto the record. Uh, the label is very, very bland. They did nothing for this label. Um this is this is the label it's very bland just a standard black like nothing special same thing on the other side nothing special at all um i think uh by his next album they started having more decorative labels and later along the line i think they had uh custom labels for some of his albums if i'm not mistaken um and i'm, I'm gonna give you the track listing for the album uh, so side one, we have Daniel. Uh, that's my favorite Elton John song of all time. Uh, then we have Teacher, I Need You. Then there's Elderberry Wine, uh, Blues for a Baby and Me, Midnight Creeper. Side two has Have Mercy on the Criminal, I'm Going to Be a Teenage Idol, Texan Love Song, Crocodile Rock, another one of my favorites, uh, High Flying Bird. Um, and like I said, this record, almost near mint, um, for some reason, a lot of the records I have, the cover is in all right condition, but yet the record is, like, near, like, perfect mint. <laughs> yeah, but we are going to get into, let me make sure I got this right. Okay, yeah, we're going to get into, I believe, his seventh studio album. Now we're getting into Elton's seventh studio album. This is Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Now this is an original from 1973, which I'm also very grateful to have. And unlike the other ones, the record and the sleeve is almost in very like perfect condition. There's no uh, scuffs as far as I could see. Nothing wrong. No, there's not even ring wear. There's not even ring wear. Uh, so, like, this is, like, a perfect, like, this could be worth a lot if I keep it like this, which I am going to keep it like this. And the cool thing is that this is how it opens. It's like a three-way trifold. Uh, and it has a bunch of arts on the cover. It's almost like a, when you go to, like, a science fair and you have, like, the trifolds. Um, and, uh, now the records here... Like I like I uh, stated earlier, if you remember, um, the earlier pressings of MCA records have this um, uh, nighttime label, kind of. If you could, here, let me pull that off. Like a nighttime label, like I stated. Uh, very nice label. I'm not going to show you the uh, second record. This is a double LP, so you will be getting two records with this. Um, So I'm going to give you the track list of the entire album. Now, this is one of my favorite Elton John albums. Uh, side one, we have Funeral for a Friend, Love Lies Bleeding, Candle in the Wind, uh, uh, Benny and the Jets, one of my favorites, all-time favorites, and Candle in the Wind. Side two, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, another favorite. This song has no title, Grey Seal, Jamaica Jerk Off, I've Seen That Movie too. Side three has Sweet Painted Lady, The Ballad of Dan Danny Bailey, Dirty Little Girl, All the Girls Love Alice. Side four has Your Sister Can't Twist, But She Can Rock and Roll. Rock and roll. Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, another good one. Uh, Roy Rogers, Social Disease, Harmony, another good one. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to put this back in its casing because I really don't plan on wrecking this cover anytime soon. So, and I'm trying to keep it as mint as possible. Uh, I'm really lucky I found it in this condition, though. Like, this is amazing. This is an amazing 
uh, condition for a almost uh, 40, almost 50 year old record right here, which is which is crazy to me. Yeah, but that is Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and I believe we're heading into. I do not have Caribou, so we're gonna uh, head into his uh, ninth studio album, I believe. So yeah, let's get it. Okay, so now we're on Elton's ninth studio album. This is Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt uh, Cowboy. The thing about this one is that I don't know if it's original. I can't tell. Uh, the thing is, is that the cover looks and seems original, but the album is 180 gram. So I don't know if I don't know if they had 180 gram in the 70s, but I doubt I doubt it. I completely doubt it. But the label on the record and the cover looks very vintage, so I'm kind of speculating. Uh, the back says 1975. It doesn't say reprint or anything like that, so I don't know. I really don't. But this is the cover, a very nice cover, very detailed. Uh, this is the back, very detailed. A lot of effort went into this cover. Uh, this is a gatefold. This I, I love this gatefold. This is very nice and classy. And like I said, later down the line, Elton started getting uh, specialized kind of um, album uh, labels. Now, this is... Um, this is nice here. Now, this feels like a 180 gram vinyl. Uh, actually, no, probably not. It does feel a little less than 180 gram, but it does feel more of like a heavier than the previous ones I've showed. So I don't know. I'm kind of uh, speculating it. I, I I'm I think it is the original because the it, they it looks vintage. Uh, it really does look. Uh, old and it looks like it's been used. I mean, not not the record. The record's in perfect condition, like I said, uh, like I stated earlier. But the cover has ring wear and it has all that, like uh, with a repress, like unless uh, like you can't get ring wear from a repress that just came out. You know what I mean? So I don't see how that could have happened. But yeah, that is El this is Elton's nice studio album, Captain Fantastic, track list, um, Captain Fantastic and Rounder Cowboy, uh, Two of Tower of Babel, Three Butterfingers, Tell Me When uh, the Whistle Blows, Someone Saved My Life Tonight, Gotta Get a Meal Ticket, Better Off Dead, Writing, We All Fall in Love Sometimes, and Curtains. This was released in 1975. And yeah, this is his nice studio album. Let's go to his, uh, 10th? Yes, 10th. Alright, so this is gonna be Elton's 10th studio album. And this one I know for a fact is original. This is Rock of the Westies. This is an original MCA, so this is one of the American copies. This is Rock of the Westies. Um, wonderful album art here. Um... Does it still have its original paper inner sleeve? Yes, it does. This was released in 1975 also. Um, this is this is the uh, custom inner sleeve. Um, yeah, very nice. The record, like I said, Elton starts having these more customized um, uh, record labels on his. Uh, this one is uh, good, uh, very, very good condition. It is a bit dusty. But, um, this is side one, uh, like I said, custom artwork. Now this is side two, all custom artwork. I really like it. Um, I'm going to give you track list here. Um, and all of these I, I got for really good prices too. So, uh, at the end, I'll tell you the secret of how I get them so cheap. Uh, so we have... Of course, it's all in cursive. I can't read cursive. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try my best here. I'm, I'm really going to try. Uh, number one, medley. Uh, yell, help, Wednesday night, ugly. <laughs> number two, Dan Dare, pilot of the future. Number three, island girl. Four, grow some funk of your own. Five, I feel like a bullet. Um, uh, side two, there is a... Number one, Street Kids. Number two, Hard, hard Luck Story. Three, Feed Me. Uh, four, Billy Bones and the White Curtain. I, I think I got them right. I got them right. 
Uh, yeah, but that is Rock of the Westies, released in 1975. Now we're going to get into, I have no idea what studio album this is. But uh, I don't have Blue Moves or Single Man. Do I have Victim of Love? I do not have Victim of Love. I don't have 21 to 33 or The Fox. I do have the next album after The Fox, so we're, uh, now we're getting into 80s album. Oh, okay, I, I kind of lied a bit. Uh, the next one I have is actually not a studio album. It's a live album. This is Elton John here and there. Uh, this is uh, an MCA, so this is a, an American copy. Uh, this is this is here and there. And on the back, you have Elton. Now, this is him. The, the, this is actually a combination of two different concerts, from my understanding. One in 1973 and the other in 1976. Yeah, so this is this is original from 1976. Um... So he, uh, uh, live in London, I believe that's 1973, I'm not totally sure, uh, live in London, he does Skyline Pigeon, Border Song, Honky Cat, Love Song, and Crocodile Rock, live in New York, 1976, I believe, that, uh, that's at, uh, Madison Square Garden, he does Funeral for a Friend, Love Lies Bleeding, Rocket Man, Benny and the Jets, and Take Me to the Pilot, uh, this one also had a decorative, um, uh, inner sleeve. Uh, this, uh, this album, I know I said he started getting customized labels, but, uh, now this is going, just going back to the standard, uh, black MCA label. And actually, not, not, uh, on the back, it's actually white, which I really like. I like this white variation. So, uh, for some reason, this album has a black one and a white one, which I like. And, like I said, the album is in very, like, amazing condition. It is a bit dusty, so I'm going to have to dust it off with my brush, but, um, uh, well, i got to find my record brush. I do have a record brush, but once I find it, I will dust all of these off. Uh, I dust them at least, uh, when I'm taking care of my records, I usually dust them at least once a month just to be safe. Because, I mean, like, I don't want to be that guy who, like, dusts them, like, every, like, day, every week. No, I'll give them, like, about once a month, uh at least because you know but yeah this is from 1976 here and there and next up we have a studio album now we're getting into 80s album <laughs> all right so now this is uh jump up this was released in 1982 um i got this so cheap i got this for five bucks okay this album was that bad that it was sold to me for only five bucks um that's the back here. It's very, it looks very 80s. And to be honest, I never really liked 80s album that much. I really didn't. Um, I, I thought the, the live performances were better in the 80s, but I never liked, like, uh, some of the songs. Um, there is one good song in this album that I do like, though. It has another custom inner sleeve. Uh, this time around, they're literally paper. So, you know. And also, he switched. Uh, he switched uh, labels during this time. He went from MCA. No, he started at um, the first uh, uh, label. I can't think of it. Then he went to Uni. And then no, Uni, Uni, same thing. Uh, uni. He stopped Uni after Honky Chateau. He went to MCA permanently. Uh, and now he went to uh, Geffen. 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 I'm just gonna say Geffen. Uh, this is a uh, Geffen record. This is the white variation. Uh, the other ones from this era are uh, black. Uh, have a black variation too, which I like. I prefer the black variation. I just think uh, it matches the aesthetic more. Um, yeah. So in all, I also really like the design. There's a little uh, kind of like a design in there if you look at it. But I'm gonna give you the track list and honestly. Uh, there's only one good song I find on this album. Uh, side one has Dear John, Spiteful Child, Ball and Chain, Legal Boys, I Am Your Robot, and Blue Eyes. Side two, the only good song in this album, I'm sorry, Empty Garden. That is the greatest song on this album. Then there's Princess, Where Have All the Good Times Gone, All Quiet on the Western Fort. And that is uh, Jump Up, released in 1982. Yeah, like I said, not the best album, but hopefully we'll get something better. I do not have Too Low for Zero. I want to get Too Low for Zero so bad because I love that album. Uh, but next up, we're getting into Breaking Hearts. 
Uh, sorry, my phone was running out of space. I had to delete a bunch of stuff. But uh, this is uh, Out and Down Breaking Hearts. This was released in 1984. This is the back. Um, it did come with a cover, a nice uh, paper inner sleeve. Uh, again, not as good as the other ones. The 70s ones were made of cardboard, which I prefer. Uh, I'm not going to take the record out. It just has the standard Geffen label. It is a bit dusty. Uh, but it is in good condition. Uh, and that, again, that's how I plan to keep it. Um, now, this this album does not have a gatefold. This is just um, regular uh this is not really a good album there's only one song on here that actually made it to his greatest hits um i and also i think the album cover is kind of boring to be honest with you but i am i am gonna give you a track list we have side one restless uh two slow down georgie three who wears these shoes four breaking hearts five we got a little refrigerator <laughs> Um, side two, look at, look up the track list. I swear to God, it says low refrigerator on here. <laughs> side two, passengers, uh, in neon, burning buildings. Did he shoot her? Sad song, say so much. That's, that's the only song I believe made it to his greatest hits. Uh, you can quote me if I'm wrong on that, but I do believe that's the only song that made it. Uh, well, at least well-known songs. I only like greatest hits, but like well-known songs. Anyway, that is Breaking Hearts, and we're going to be moving on to Ice on Fire. And yes, this is the original from 1984, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so this is Ice on Fire. This is an original from 1985. Uh, this album was significantly better, I will say that. Um, now, this is the front cover. This one's in a lot better condition than the last one. Uh, this is the front, Ice on Fire. I do... I also own this on cassette. This is an original. Uh, this was sealed when I got it, but uh, I've had it for a long time. When I was young, I was dumb enough to open it. But yes, I do have it on cassette also. Now this is the front. Now this is the back. And fun fact, um, one of the uh, songs, Too Young, I believe, uh, the members of Queen did uh, background vocals for it, which uh, if you didn't know, Queen is my favorite band, favorite band. Uh, which is very awesome and well. I didn't even realize it when I bought it. I, I really didn't. Um, this, uh, this paper inner sleeve is more, uh, more basic, uh, than the other ones. And like I, like I told you a few albums ago, when he switched to, uh, Geffen, uh, this, this record's in good condition, but again, very dusty. Uh, it, this one has the black Geffen label, which I I think is significantly better. I think it matches the aesthetic better. I enjoy the the uh, black Geffen label. Uh, and don't go on at me in the comments saying, oh, Black Lives Matter, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I know, but I, I just know some of the stupid people are just going to get pressed at me in the comments. Um... Yeah, but that is Ice on Fire. That was released in 1985, and uh, I do not have any of the rest of the those ones. I don't, do I have anything after that? Oh no, I don't. I don't have any of the. I don't have anything from the rest of the 80s. I don't have any of the 90s stuff, because uh, to my understanding, I don't think any of the stuff from the 90s was actually released on vinyl. Uh, no, no, no. I think it is in represses. You can buy them in represses. Um, yeah, I am missing quite a few of them, but I will get them soon. All right, now, I don't count this as an Elton John album, but this is a movie soundtrack that he did write the music for. And that is The Lion King. This is The Lion King soundtrack. This means a lot to me because I bought this uh, in Animal Kingdom at Disney World. I remember the whole entire store was completely decorated in Lion King. Everything was Lion King. I saw this. I begged my mom to get it for me, and she did, and I was very happy. Uh, now, this is a picture, this too. Um, this, um, this is the front. This is 180 gram, too, so this is like a good way. That's the front. I really love the front and the back. Uh, the front has the regular Lion King songs, and then the back has all the uh, Elton John versions of them. 
which I like. And so, yeah, even though it's not really in, you know, Elton John album, he still did the music for for it, which I respect uh, very greatly. Yeah, but that is the entire Elton John collection. Uh, and yeah. Oh, right now I gotta edit a video. <laughs> Alright, well, that was the video. I, I hope you guys liked it. And I do have a few more artists. Uh, maybe I will do a Queen one next. Um, I'll do a Queen. I'll do uh, Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey. Uh, then I'll just do some, like, one-offs that I have. Maybe I'll do a CD collection next to and a cassette collection. Um, oh, and I probably should have mentioned this, but I also have Honky Chateau on CD. This is my only other Elton John CD. Uh, I don't have any Elton CDs. Uh, but that is my entire Elton John vinyl collection. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.